now back to Rick Semler and Casey Miller. Welcome back. No team in our area lately has been more successful this time of year than Linton. The Miners have won a school record five straight sectional championships. The quest for their sixth straight sectional begins tonight at home against Tecumseh. And Linton didn't waste any time at all on the opening kickoff. Tyler Muir steps around and through the coverage, and he is gone. Muir goes virtually untouched all the way to the house. Rick, it took just 13 it's seconds. About deflating. I know, 13 seconds for the Miners to take a 7 0 lead. Next Linton possession now. The counter to Kendall Williams around the left side, and he outruns the blocker and the defense. The Miners lead grows. Later in the quarter, Muir gives it to Garrett Mason this time. And you know, he's nimble for a big fullback, dodges and dances around the Braves, and he's in the zone. Linton in total control. This game went to a running clock. The Miners moving on here. They win 56-15 over to Cumsey. Next week, Linton will take on North Knox. North Central with a late start at home tonight against Tell City. The T-Birds run in tons of play action, and Rick, they got me good here. Dawson Basinger, he has the football, and he's around the end. He bowls over the defender there Ooh. before going out of bounds. North Central driving at the goal line now. Braden Cooch on the sneak, and he gets the push. North Central takes a 16-0 lead. Toward the end of the quarter here, Shane Lasher back to pass for Tell City. This ball is going to go off the fingertips of Ty Thompson, almost picked off. Tell City stopped on fourth down there. The Marksmen get shut out by the T-Birds. North Central wins 30 to nothing. And North Central gets the winner between Perry Central and North Davies. Second quarter, Perry Central passing deep. This ball caught by Austin Wilkerson for the touchdown. We go to the third quarter now. Ethan Malone is going to take the handoff for North Davies, but he is tripped up before he gets to the end zone. The Cougars would not be denied, though. Malone again on the run here, and this time he makes it across the goal line for the touchdown, but it wasn't enough to continue the North Davies season. The Cougars fall the night to Perry Central 34-14. Rick? Eastern Green tonight was looking to win a sectional game back-to-back -back years for the first time in school history. The T-Birds entertain Springs Valley. Jeff Graham isn't your typical QB. The Eastern Green senior welcomes contact. Look at him. Take on the defender and bowl his way for a few extra yards. First down, T-Birds. Graham looking more like your traditional pocket passing QB now. He fires a perfect pass to Joel Weimer, who makes a nice move at the 10 to avoid the tackle. Ooh. Eastern Green strikes first. They go up 7-0. Graham had a nice game for Eastern Green. He rolls out and across his body, that's not an easy pass, fires a beautiful ball to J.W. Howard for a big gain. Eastern Green wins 41-7. The T-Birds pick up. Their third sectional win in program history. Their win tonight also, as I mentioned earlier, marks the first time in school history that they have won sectional games in back-to-back -back years. Tough sectional opener for Northview at 4A. Number one, Ron Colley. How about the Sports 10 aerial cam here? And there it is from the helicopter. <laughs> All Rebels in this one. Patrick McManama with the awesome run. Look at him near the goal line, and then it's Derek O'Connor. I love the aerial view here, man. We're just yeah, stepping we, up big time. We don't get that very often here as uh, <laughs> from the sky view. Should we give a shout-out to our GM, you know, getting us the aerial, <laughs> yeah. aerial coverage? Thanks, Mr. Todd Weber. Derek O'Connor gets the touchdown there. Northview puts up a fight. Everybody, we're kidding. We got the highlights from Indianapolis. Northview puts up a fight, but Ron Colley's just too good tonight. Rebels win. 35 to 14. Tough sectional opener for Owen Valley at 4A, fifth ranked Evansville Central. Second and 12 from the 18 yard line. Evansville Central's Brennan Harper takes a snap, waits to find his receivers. He airs it out to Jeremiah Bradley, who trots into the end zone. 34 0 Evansville Central. Owen Valley searching for some offense in the second quarter. Daniel Burkett tosses straight down the middle. Evansville Central picks. It off. It was that kind of night for Owen Valley. Evansville Central shows why they're ranked so high. They win 41-13 over Owen Valley. Coming up, we'll check in on sectional 32. That's where we had 318 Sullivan and Washington in action. We'll also head up north to Clinton to see how South Vermilion did and head over to Illinois when in the zone returns. <laughs> 